Hello and welcome to the most hated show in the black corner of the internet. I'm your host, the whiteologist, Mr. Blows Your Minds, and this is Black Minds News. Black Minds News is to report, articulate, transmit, communicate, insinuate, develop, investigate, unveil, decode, spread the news, whether it's by news, video, website, or go from publications. As I articulate this information, I accept the creator of the universe, be here, heart, soul, mind, and spirit, because why? The truth don't need no partner. As a descendant of the greatest people who created this place that we call the United States, we, the foundational black Americans, the bloodline historical lineage, the historical people known as slaves, we who call ourselves B-A-D-O-S, black American descendant of slaves, some say black African descendant of slaves, others say A-D-O-S, American descendant of slaves. We, the today children, offspring, and present generation, we give honor to our ancestors. And you know what my motto of the show is? I'm never going to tell you what I heard. I'm only going to tell you what I know. Today's date it is August 27, 2019, and we're on our way over to California. Did you hear? Did you hear that there was a situation that took place? Just imagine your grandparent, parent, you go out for the night. Okay? Lee daughter, you got a daughter about 15 years old. You think you've been raising her right? I'm gonna say you wasn't raising them right. We're just gonna say you've been raising them right. It felt like they're 15. You could go out and do what you got. You got other siblings or other children. Well, he has other siblings. And uh, again, you out enjoying yourself. You know what I'm saying? As people do when they go out. You return home about 2 in the morning. And uh, somehow, according to what they're talking about, find somebody hiding in the closet and you say hey what you doing here one thing leads to another family gets involved young men said some things happened to him things were said to him held against his will and when he gets out of there those foul charges well, based on because all that transpired today, we, Black Minds News, is going to report, give you the article, give you the visual, and give you Mr. Blows Your Mind's opinion about that. So again, stay tuned as we report this story. Stay tuned for this broadcast.
hey, hey, how's y'all doing again? This is your host, Mr. Blow Your Minds, and again, welcome to Black Minds News. First and foremost, want to say what's good to my subscribers and new and old. How y'all doing? Pass by, if you should happen to pass by, this is the most hated show on the black corner of the internet. The reason why, we used to get 275,000 views. 50,000, 30,000, so forth. Today, as of uh, 2019, uh, about, um, about two to three weeks ago, we could get about 100 views. Now we're down to about 30, 40 views, which means subscribers, uh, whatever, right? But welcome to you passing by. Uh, go down the aisle, see something you might like. May you run across something that make you feel some kind of way. Just remember that the motto of the show is the truth don't need no partner. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into this show, right? So, uh, let me go ahead and show you. Right? So, right? Let me go ahead and show you. So, again, as I'm telling you, you know how it is when you are, you know, a teenager, right? And uh, whether male or female, right? You're trying to you know, figure out who you is. Trying to get some identity for yourself. You're experimenting, right? You know, went from grade school where you may have been a little naive about some things to now you're getting to high school and, you know, you, you, you're learning things, you're seeing things, you're hearing things. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're getting a little bit more attention than maybe than normal. And one thing leads to another. And then, you know, depending on the slickness of between, between whoever, between each other, if both of you are not slick, you want to try to experiment it to try to get into some, uh, we're going to do this vertical, you know, this vertical game that we're going to do, right? So, somebody came up with the idea, well, why don't we, uh, you know, hang out and, uh, well, you know what, let me do it this way. You don't need to let me, let me go ahead and go ahead and give you the article. Ain't no need for me to do that, right? Let me, let me do that first, right? Ain't no need for me to do all that, right? Let me go on and do everything I got to do. Set it all up. Should have did that already, right? So let me go and do this, this, and this. And then let's we'll go ahead and play this, and we shall be right back after this. Check this out. California parents charged with hate crime for kidnapping boy found hiding in teen's daughter's closet. Police says, you know I'm going to say that again. California parents charged with hate crime for kidnapping boy found hiding in teen's daughter's closet, police said. This story was done August the 25th, 2019, coming from Yahoo News, from ABC News. And it says the parents of a 15-year-old California girl are being charged with a hate crime after they allegedly kidnapped and abused their daughter's boyfriend after they found him hiding in the home, according to police. On Thursday afternoon, the 17-year-old victim went to police to report that he'd been held against his will, assaulted and threatened by three people at a home in San Bruno, about 12 miles south of San Francisco, according to a news release by the San Bruno police. The victim was visiting the girl at her home when the family members arrived around 2.30 a.m. that morning, police said. Then they became irate and started assaulting him, according to the release. The suspects, which include the girl's mother, Haiti Argulio, 46, her stepfather, Wilfredo Amaya, 46, and her biological father, Lusando Suarez, 49, allegedly restrained the teen using rope, held him against his will, threatened to kill him and assault him multiple times. The girl's parents also allegedly yelled racial slurs throughout the attack, causing the teen, who is black, to believe his race to be the motivating factor in the attack. Police said all of the suspects are Hispanic descent. Police said the teen's older sister, Belkis Gomez and Catherine Gomez, alleged that the victims attacked their parents after they found him hiding in the bedroom closet, which is why they restrained him. 
They were so scared because they found someone in the closet. Melky Goldsman told ABC San Francisco affiliate KEGO. They jumped because everyone was sleeping and this guy started kicking my stepfather and trying to kill him. Catherine Gomez told the station he punched her and then my stepdad, of course, is not going to let anyone hit his wife. They tried to stop him and he was acting very violent so they grabbed a rope to try to tie down, tie him down and ask him why he was at the house. When asked by KGO reporter whether the parents hurt the victim, Catherine Gomez replied, no, they didn't adding that the accusations of racial slurs are not true at all. Neighbors, neighbor Jorge Flores told KGO that he could hear the victim screaming in pain. All three suspects were charged with multiple felonies relating to committing a hate crime, including kidnapping assault with a deadly weapon, and criminal threats. According to police, they were arrested Friday and are being held at the San Mateo County Jail without bail online records show. It is unclear whether they have retained attorneys. Child Protective Service has taken custody of the 15-year-old KGO reported. unusual hate crime investigation on the peninsula. KPX 5's Andre Borba on three adults accused of assaulting a young black man who had paid a visit to a female friend. Andrea? Well, Ken, Veronica, those three adults are facing felony charges, and tonight they are at the San Mateo County Jail here in Redwood City. San Bruno detectives say an African-American teen boy was at the house of a juvenile female acquaintance when three adults described as family members returned home and that's when the assault began. The teen told officers that he was tied up with a rope, assaulted multiple times, held against his will and targeted with racial slurs. The victim says they even threatened to kill him. Once he was finally untied, he went to the San Bruno Police Department and reported what happened. He was treated at an area hospital for his injuries. The victim reported that throughout this attack, the suspects yelled at him using multiple racial slurs, and he believed his race to be a motivating factor in the attack. The suspects in this case were arrested at the home where the alleged attack occurred. They are 46-year-old Wilfredo Amaya of San Bruno, 46-year-old Heidi Arguello of San Bruno, and 46-year-old Luisandor Suarez of San Francisco. They are facing charges of assault with a deadly weapon, criminal threats, and a hate crime tonight. Now back out here live in San Bruno, you might notice that there's not a lot of details associated with this case. The Redwood, pardon me, the San Bruno Police Department says they want to make sure that they are protecting the victims who are underage in this case, that victim who was attacked and his acquaintance. So they're being very tight-lipped about many details of this investigation. Live in Redwood City, Andrea Borba, KPIX5. So, you got the information now, right? You got to see the video. I done read you the article, right? So, again, what we have is some California parents. And parents is in all of them are involved in it, right? And it seems to be in hate crime that happened in San Bruno, California. They call it Redwood City. 
And uh, according to a night out, it looks like that the parents return home about two in the morning. Come to find that uh, there's an individual in their house unexpectedly that they did not know. Accordingly, there's two versions in here because the daughter in the house is saying one thing compared to what is being reported. Because when you heard what I read in the story, the daughter says that they were sleeping, right? And then somehow he is coming out, the young man, and attacking the father, right? Punching and fighting the father and also punching her. Now, this is what she said. So, Carly, the 15-year-old daughter, had a boy come over to the house. Knew the parents was going to be out, had him come over. Now, again, it's 2.30 in the morning. I think that should have been already up out of there, right? But maybe the little, the girl was like, maybe her parents don't come home. You know, yeah, sometimes, you know, she, you know, children, again, when you being in that position, you kind of know the scheduling of your parents. You know when they come coming to and fro and when they kind of pattern. You kind of got a sense of the pattern. At least you try to at least think you know. But there's always, again, the monkey wrench could come in. So, again, 2.30 in the morning, parents come home. You still got boys still over there. They coming in, right, and he's trying to hide, okay? Uh, R. Kelly trapped in the closet situation, right? So somehow, not sure, right? Because you got to think about that. How did they find him knowing he was in the closet unless they came in to check on her and he was in the closet, you know, maybe it was Badussi was in the air, you know, my man... <laughs> What's that I smell? It smells like Badussi in this mug, right? He was looking around, and, you know what I'm saying? And then one thing led to another again. And 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 the thing is, you have to ask yourself: Did the little the, the little girl, being 15, did she know who her parents were? Do she know her parents didn't like you messing with these mm, negros, mm, mayatas, and all that? You, you know, you know stuff. Again, we know. Come on now. We know what it is. I know everybody be talking about the black and brown coalition. I understand from, you know, people saying that. But in actuality, there's also kind of a divide in there because, again, some people have got a certain a privilege because some of them believe them to be European. And so you have to ask yourself anyway, why do Puerto Ricans and Mexicans don't like each other because it's got to be a black-white thing. You get what I'm saying? The Puerto Rican has got the African blood and the... Uh, a Mexican got the Spanish blood, so that means he's European and you Negro. So here it is. They come home. Not sure if they came up on the night of drinking, the cerveza time, and all that good stuff, right? Come back, say Negro in there, then did the do with my daughter. So what they going to do? They say, oh, no. You understand? This ain't going down. Now, again, what they say? Don't hate the player, hate the game. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't go attack the player when you get caught, when you catch your woman cheating on you and you run up on him and see that he can't do nothing she don't allow him to do. You hear what I'm saying? So it's incumbent on you to go to her, not to him. I know you hurt. You're catching. My, yeah, I get that. So why is the parents going at him? First they say, you need to get your ass up out of my motherfucking house. Well, you know, go and do this too far poop pops on you, right? You mad? I get it. We understand that. But you can't blame him because, again, unless this is some break-in robbery held hostage and we raping, that's entirely different. Everything you about to do, everything they said you did will be you know, within the realms of the game. But, again, in this case, this is little one bringing somebody to the crib, thought it was safe to do and got caught up. Now, based on your feeling and hatred and racial towards mayatas and negros and all that other stuff, this was a prime opportunity for you to release the beast within one. So accordingly, let's see what some of the stuff that they said that they had, right? Because uh, they had a little, little list of stuff that they claimed that... Um, they said that the young man had said, you know, they're not going to 
show that. But uh, well, first, before I even do that, just to show how they tried to downplay it, right? Look at the image they tried to give. Now, do that look like a black boy? Now, again, unless unless when they say him him being a African American, he might be mixed. Maybe he might be Spanish and something, right? So the image that they're showing there. If I hear African American, I'm assuming he looked like majority of us look. And I know we have different variations now when it comes to when we talk about African Americans, right? We, we, we you know, it's kind of like uh, Starburst. We got all kind of different types of colors and flavors in there, right? But we all supposed to be one. So, but I just say, well, where's the image? Because I've never seen the image that looked like pure black, black American image. I don't see that image. But they showed that image, and then I was like, whoa, you kind of downplayed that a little bit, didn't they? They tried to downplay that a little bit. So let me show you the, the little list of stuff that they claim that, uh, you know, he said that he said that uh, they did to him, right? Let me see. I know I got it in here, don't I? Come on now. I know I got that in here. I don't got that in here? Hmm. Oh, so one more. Hold on, y'all. One second. I thought I'd put that in here. So let me go and do this in real time. Because I should have had that already up in here. And I, I'm pretty sure I did that. So anyway, I'll take about a second here. All right. So I got that in there. Boom. All right. There we go. So so this is what they're showing, right? They says this is a hate crime allegations. And they said the police said the victim was tied with a rope. So somebody said, get the rope. Huh? Get the rope. Uh, you know, in our mind, when we hear rope, just like we did the story about the one in Texas where the sheriff is walking a black man down the street, got a rope tied to him, and pull him with a horse. Historically, that's not a good image. And the sound, get a rope, is like they hang this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, right there, that might have triggered something in, again, whether he's full blooded. B A D O S A D O S African American, you know, can be something else, and then it could be Africans and all that other stuff, right? So that triggers something that uh oh, I'm in trouble here. Do you, you know what I'm saying? I'm in trouble. So it says he was assaulted multiple times. Okay. Now when they say assaulted, they're not really disclosing what those assaults were, but we can pretty much assume that he was getting punched up. Kicked up, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put them honchos on. I'm going to put that business on you, right? Stumping you up, right? Scuffling you up, right? Uh, he claimed that again. The reason why he's saying he was abducted is because they said he held him against his will. Because again, they tied him up and kept him there. And, you know, saying again, all racial shit, nigga. And, you know, I think all, all that stuff was being said to him and then he said they also threatened to kill him now again i understand you know some people again you know men especially if you man that been out here and you did, did a lot of dirt the last thing you want to know is your daughter getting it getting it in you want your girl to be clean good girl right clean good crisp pristine nobody touch virgin on the day when she get married but again, when you go through in your life, and again, you was touching somebody, woman, oh, daughter, woman, whatever it might be, you, you know what I'm saying? You was tainting people too. Now, the problem is maybe they have a preference of what who they would prefer her to be with. Because he felt like, according to what he was saying, that this had the, you know, it felt like it was more about my race, right? It felt like it was like because I was black. That they went all out their way to uh, to show this vitriol that they had for me. All right, so I'm gonna go back and put them back up there, right? And so we see that they see that this Lusando Suarez, right? Now that's supposed to be the father. Now you gotta ask yourself, wait a minute, how the father get there? Because the other one, Wilfredo Amaya. It's supposedly supposed to be the now hot as a Haiti Aguelo. That's her man now. But Suarez is the father of the girl. So was all three of them kicking it that night, or was a phone call made? Hey, Sandro, man. Hey, Suarez, bring your ass, man. 
Man, y'all there, a Negro over here in the car in the room with the girl. What? <laughs> Nigga was on his way. You understand? And so that's why I say held him up because somebody coming. Papa want to see you. You understand? And so one thing led to another. A lot of stuff got out got, again. See, a lot of times we're trying to make these associations that brown and black, that it's all good and copacetic. Again, there's nothing wrong with having allies, right? But again, a lot of people underneath. Again, once you get underneath the skin and get down to the core and get into the heart and soul and the spirit of an individual, you find out who they really is. Now, again, I'm not going to say that people in a normal situation come on catching that. You're going to feel some kind of way. There's certain ways you react. And some people, again, they're very emotional and they're just going to pounce. Ain't going to be no thinking. But at that age, 46, they all between 46, 45, 44. You understand? They, they've been in the game a little bit. Again, I'm not sure how long they've been here in the United States. And again, based in California, when you look at what's going on in California, you hear a lot of people who... When you read stories and videos that they're talking about in California, there's a big dissension between blacks and Hispanics. As they say, Hispanics are primarily taking over California and blacks are getting pushed out with the re-justification. A lot of them, again, when we know what's going down there on Skid Row and a lot of the homeless and stuff. And so there's been a lot of fighting and so forth. And so people... Just, you know, understand that dynamic in California, then they understand that. So, again, being lackadaisical, not understanding. And, again, being there at 2.30 in the morning, you you asking for to get caught up. What you thought you going to be sleeping there all night? You know, song is morning. It's time for us to hit the road. Goodbye, baby. You know, that old school song, right? You ain't probably there till the sun wheezed up until the sun came up. Mm-mm. You grown? You ain't grown. This ain't her house. So, again, either you fell asleep because it's 2.30 in the morning. You should have been up up out there today. See, that just showed, you know, but again, the hate crime in itself is just, again, that's just the dynamic that, again, some people have been categorized to be, you know, affiliation, kinship to the same people. Historically, if you, again, if he's ADOS, BADOS, there's a affiliation between those of historically that dealt with you. And again, some people keep saying 1619, but again, you got to go back before then. And then who was here prior before then? Some of us came with the Spanish, either as slaves or as conquistadors. So then there's also that relationship because, again, think about Spain and how the Moors is up there. So there's a lot of bad blood. And people dealing and looking at us as black folks. And when you don't know that, you don't know that. And so, again, lesson, he didn't get killed, but he learned a valuable lesson in that. And again, that's just the whole thing lately. We're out here, you know, like a days ago, a lot of times just people just don't have the information, the knowledge to even have that conversation because, again, a lot of you believe I don't want to be a racist. You, how are you being a racist? You just telling what the game is. You're not a racist. All you doing is relaying information so that they know how to tread through these obstacles out here. See, I know everybody wants to believe that this is every little white boy and little red hands and joining hands. Yeah, that sounds good, but in reality, you know what I'm saying? Everybody not feeling that way. Everybody not feeling that way. So they have to be a little bit apprehensive about that. Wait a minute, man. I don't know if I should be at your house like that. Your parents may not like that. But again, you know, the flesh is weak. And so it was an opportunity to jump and pounce and you was there and then not thinking that you was putting yourself in harm ways because as much as you got out of the situation, you could have been not got out and found somewhere buried in the backyard somewhere. Right? So, you know, I guess this story will come out a little bit later as more develop on it in time. But again, you know, most likely that's going to happen. I don't can't say whether black folks find somebody of other color. They do that just depending on who they are. But we always know when it comes to Spanish and maybe the whites, because I remember a story back in the days. Uh, there was a, a I remember it was a, somebody had broke into somebody's house. And they went in this white neighborhood and they broke into the house. 
dude got away. He had a, he had a, he had a sister with her, and they broke in the house. The cane got in there. Dude got out. Girl got stuck up in there. You know what they did? The father and the son did. Father and son raped her. Right? They sat there and took turns on her, trained her. Right? Then let her go afterwards. Boy go to school with her. He seen the girl every day. He knew exactly what he ain't say nothing. She ain't say nothing. But he knew what it was, though. That's what they did, see? So get yourself in a bad situation and the opportunity arises. Some people are going to take that opportunity. So again, this is Black Minds News. Just wanted to relate this story to you just in case you didn't hear it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's what it is, y'all, right? It's not about out here trying to be hateful or just cause dissension. Sometimes these things are just what they are. And if you get yourself caught in that situation, you're going to deal with it in its appropriate time. So, again, be mindful. You know how I say it on here. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to go ahead and say it at the end, right? Because, again, again, I want to thank everybody for your participation. Remember, when you see one another, what's good, brother? What's good, sister? Can't do that much. At least give that universal nod. You know, we got to get all this hate, jealousy, envy, strife out our ass and understand that we is all we got. Understand that these and us and these uniforms and the team that we own, yes, allies are good. But you got some questions you got to ask your allies. One is, if shit and when shit get hot, are you still going to be in the frying pan with me? Two is, have you ever heard of John Brown? Is John Brown real to you? Or is that a mythological story that somebody made up and said that they got us believing? Hmm. Know that the time is dawning that there are some, but not all, who are seeking for your demise. Hmm. So you know what? It's incumbent on all of us to stay vigilant. Mindful, cautious, and high spirit. Again, this is Black Minds News Report. I want to thank you once and foremost, once again, Mr. Blows Your Minds. Peace, love. To the next show, y'all. To the next.